We got a real blitzkrieg of a tactic today, so let's jump in and see how it did. This one is called the 424 Nachtnebel Press, another German sounding one, uh, although I believe it, the creator is named Mark Nachtnebel, so there you go. Tested with Napoli, Liverpool, so we'll definitely have to keep an eye out on that one. Wolfsburg and Hirona. Uh, Napoli doing a fantastic job of 89% win rate, Liverpool only with 82%. So we will see how it does, but I mean, it looks like it has done fairly well for these teams. The only description says a high pressing 424 made to break down the opposition defense. This is a real blitzkrieg tactic, like I said earlier. So we will see again how it did with our three teams of Liverpool, Astonville, and our championship side of Ipswich Town. Let's start with the Premier League and see how they did. Well, as we take a look at the Premier League, you can see Liverpool in second place, 107 goals, a fantastic tally there, 83 points, only one below Chelsea. I mean, the average that they get is around 85 or thereabouts, but when you have a season like this where Chelsea's top of leagues at 84, I'll give you that. I mean, that's not bad. Man City at 83 as well. Aston Villa, though, coming in six, 74, so 10 points off the lead, 88 goals is second place, it looks like, so, I mean... The placement in the table is a problem, but overall, everything else seems kind of nice. Domestic Cups for Liverpool, though. Newcastle dropped them out of the Carabao Cup fourth round, and then Man City dropped them out of the FA Cup quarterfinals, two to three in extras. Unfortunately, no trophies for Liverpool this season. Dropped out of the semifinals in the Europa League against FC RB Salzburg. Overall, yeah, it's it's sort of an average, if not a little bit low average season for them. No trophies whatsoever. I mean, knocked out in the semis of the Europa League. Eh, quarters of the FA Cup, uh, I would definitely would have liked better, but it's Man City. Second place of the league, I am, at, at least a trophy would be nice. So, stats-wise, goals, you could see 28 for Mohamed Salah, Nunez with only 23, 20 though for Cody Gakpo, was very nice for him. 15 assists for Simikas and Trent, 14 for Salah. So, overall, I mean, they've got some good stats, we've definitely seen better stats, but Salah with a 7-3-9 is pretty nice on top. Aston Villa showing some serious promise in domestic cup section, but unfortunately out against Manchester City in the semifinals of the Carabao Cup of both legs. Just that's not great. FA Cup semifinals, though, against Chelsea four to five. That must have been a thriller. But they do come away from the season with a trophy. The Europa Conference League final three nil over Frankfurt. Very well done there. So overall, sixth place, not great in the table, but 74 points, not bad. And the goals, too. Winner of the Conference League is fantastic. Semifinals of the FA Cup is pretty nice. Care about Cup semifinals as well. We've seen better tactics, at least where they've gotten a lot more trophies. But overall, this is not a bad one. And then squad-wise, goals 22 for Diaby and Watkins. 20 for Douglas Luiz, not bad there. Assists 15 for John McGinn. Matty Cash with 13. And then average rating, Alex Moreno with a 7-2-1. Data hub for Liverpool. Through and through attacking, very well done. If you look at the goals per game, 2.82. Expected goals against 1.13, very well done. And if we look at Aston Villa, a little less numbers. We're used to that, not too bad, but still pretty nice numbers. Goals per game, 2.32 and then 1.45 against. And just to throw this in there as well, Liverpool get 2.18 points per game. Aston Villa in six with 1.95. Continuing with the Premier League stats, you can see most goals. Liverpool in first with 107. Nice tally there. Aston Villa with 88. Not bad themselves. Fewer shots against. Liverpool in fifth with 329. Most possession. Liverpool with fourth with 57. Eh, Aston Villa with 55. They're not in any of these categories. Best pass completion either. Most shots for Liverpool in first with 682. And Aston Villa with 599. But now while Liverpool and Aston Villa did an okay job, Ipswich Town coming in dead first. 110 points, 135 goals for, is dead first an actual phrase? But they got first in the table, a fantastic job. Premier League bound, yeah, well done. Well, I definitely would have liked to have seen more from the trophy season, but out in the Carabao Cup second round against Chelsea and out in the FA Cup fourth round against Burnley. That one hurts. So overall, championship is definitely where it's at. First place in the table, fantastic job. FA Cup, Carabao Cup, nah, too bad. So squad-wise, let's take a look. 36 goals for Hurst. I love seeing Hurst up there with so much. 23 for Chaplin. Fantastic. The only two in the double digits, though. But Connor Chaplin with 17 assists, 10 for Harry Clark is... No, he's not even here. Well, we've seen it before. Leif Davis heads off to PSG and leaves Ipswich Town behind. 
So somewhat similar to the Premier League, Ipswich Town in first with 135 goals. Norwich getting to second. Nice job there. Fewer shots against in third with 401. Most possession, 57%. And then most shots for in first with 776. But now let us take a look at this tactic itself. Sweeper, keeper, and defend is where we start. Wing backs on the left and the right in attack. Ball playing defender sandwich in the middle. DMs in the DM spot, I guess. <laughs> Inside forwards in support above them. An advanced forward in front next to a Trequartista in attack. Both in attack. It is an attacking mentality. In possession, attacking with is fairly wide. Approach plays pass into space. Focus play down the left and the right. Play out of defense. Passing directness is shorter, tempo is higher, low crosses and run at defense. In transition, counter press, counter, distribute quickly, distribute to the back line. And then out of possession, you've got a ton here. A high press line of engagement, much higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent your goalkeeper distribution, get stuck in, step up more, trap outside and invite the crosses. Well, how did it do for our three teams as an overall? Ipswich Town doing a fantastic job. It worked really well for them. 135 goals is a fantastic mark. Promoted to the Premier League is just, oh, you love seeing it. But when you get to Liverpool and Aston Villa, it's kind of more, I mean, they, they did a good job. Don't get me wrong. Liverpool with 83 points is not bad. Goals through the roof. Aston Villa, 74 points, not bad. It's the, just the season was wacky. Chelsea with 84 is the tops. Normally we see tops in the 90s and thereabouts, but... You know, you're right around that. You're only one point off of Chelsea for Liverpool. Aston Villa only 10 points off. I think if you took control of this, you could do a bit better of a job yourself and really get higher up in the table. But that does it for me, Sefian FM, for the Football Manager Blog Channel, saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.